All right, we're talking about back. that news. You got your own announcement. So what's your announcement today? Well, it's great to be back with you, Frank. Today's a very big day for all of us at Unifor. And that's a very big day for the entire business AI community. We are announcing our Series F round, a $260 million raise. And what's really interesting here is, apart from financial investors, we are seeing the coming together of a whole ecosystem. NVIDIA, AMD, Snowflake, and Databricks have all joined this financing round and really validated the position Unifor is in in terms of business AI. All right, the companies you name, outside the financial investors, companies you name, NVIDIA, AMD, Snowflake, and Databricks, you work with all those companies. So they're also investing in you. So at first I have to ask, are there any stipulations or strings attached with this funding? Can you use the money to buy NVIDIA chips or chips from AMD? Are there any restrictions? Uh, this is a pure financial investment, pure equity investment in a Series F round of a technology company called Unifor. No strings attached, no stipulations. What this really is, is uh, uh, telling all of us is that Unifor is in a very unique position. We are at the tip of the spear of adoption of AI in large businesses. We bring it all together for an insurance company or a bank. We bring the GPUs, we bring the compute, we bring the data, and we bring the application layer all in a single sovereign open platform. And that is why the whole ecosystem is coming together to drive this adoption and fuel this growth even further. All right. Um, it's interesting that some of these companies are actually competitors, specifically NVIDIA and AMD, and they're funding the same company, Databricks and Snowflakes also to a certain extent. What does that say about what's going on in AI? What does that say about your company? The fact that these other companies, they compete with each other, and I'm sure they're cordial personally, but they definitely compete with each other, are investing in the same company. Well, again, it goes to show that everyone's realizing to win in AI, it's going to take the whole ecosystem coming together, even competitors. I'll give you an example. To make AI work within a large insurance firm, it, it is, doesn't mean that one type of GP or one type of data technology or one type of LLM is going to serve the whole company's purpose. This is a $5 trillion opportunity, and everyone on the table recognizes that there's enough to be had for everybody. And what Unifor does is really unique in this industry. By delivering a sovereign and an open platform, we are really driving the adoption of agentic AI in some of the biggest companies in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's putting the whole infrastructure, data centers and GPUs and data technology, everything is being put to use because of the work Unifor does in these large businesses. All right, Agentic AI, everybody's excited about it, whether you go from Robert Smith and Vista Equity Partners here, Mark Benioff talking about it, pretty much every leader in tech says Agentic AI is the future. So why not go public? Why are you doing a funding round? Is it just too attractive to stay in the private markets because of the capital available? Why don't you want to go public yet? Well, as far as Unifor is concerned, we are really heads down, focused on delivering value to over 2,000 clients of ours today. And that number, by the way, Frank, is multiplying very fast. We think this number could double uh, very quickly and then double from there, et cetera. So this phase of our life is really about delivering value through this new novel technology called Agentic AI to these customers. What I will tell you about the IPOs, though, in the next two years, we're going to see a wave of AI companies at Wall Street, and they're going to shatter all records that we know about IPOs. Are you going to be one of them? Well, hopefully. That's what we're working towards. <laughs>